Warning, do not attempt any of the stunts you're about to see. Hello, I'm Johnny Knoxville, and I'm breaking down all the injuries of my career. How delightful. Well, I'm Johnny Knoxville, United States of America, and I'll be doing a little article on self-defense equipment. I did write an article where I tested four different types of self-defense equipment on myself. Pepper spray is still one of the most painful things I've ever endured in my life. Hit me. The pepper spray is a continuous hell for 15 or 20 minutes. It's like someone lit a fire in your eye and tried to put it out with gasoline. I feel like my eyes have gonorrhea. The stun gun, when it hits you, you do go down. But to be able to hit someone with it, you are within reaching distance. You can get up pretty much immediately from a stun gun. A taser gun, I don't recommend either. You feel the electric shock, but your muscles just give out and turn into a noodle and you go down. But I did that twice, and the first one, I was shirtless. You know, both of the barbs have to go in to connect the circuit. And just standing there, only one went in. And if that happens, if they were coming at you, they're still coming at you. But pepper spray, you can do from like 15 feet, and they are worthless for at least 20 minutes. Oh my God. Hi, I'm Johnny Knoxville. Welcome to Jackass. We did do three seasons of Jackass on television, and everything happened very quickly. I went from making 10 cents a word, writing for magazines, and acting in Bud Light commercials or whatever commercials, and to being on the cover of The Rolling Stone, and that's a pretty big leap. And it took a little getting used to. My name is Johnny Knoxville, and today I'm going to jump the L.A. River. I think we shot the roller jump for the pilot of Jackass the TV show. You know, I was going to jump the L.A. River, which sounds fantastic. In, in reality, it's like a, it was about a five-foot section of the L.A. River, and I'm super uncoordinated, and it end with a, ended with a broken ankle. When I abruptly quit the television show, MTV was kind of stunned by it. I hadn't read any contracts, nor did I really care to. So there was a lot of back and forth about what was going to happen next. And out of that came the first movie. I'm Johnny Knoxville, and I'm going to grind this rail. I didn't think, like, a ah, movie version of the TV show didn't make sense to me, because I was thinking, oh, why would they get actors to do that? And then. Spike or Jeff's like, no, it's just like a naughtier version of what we did on TV. And then that made sense to everybody. I'm Johnny Knoxville. And I'm Butterbean. Today we're going to do a little boxing. <laughs> Butterbean. He's really strong. And such a, a wonderful spirit and so funny all day long and polite. We're going to have a fight in a swap meet. As soon as he put the gloves on, I said something to him. He just looked right through me, like he didn't even know me. It really changed him when he put the gloves on. Oh well, we need footage. Somebody ring the bell, let's get this over with. That one was gnarly, because he knocked me out on my feet. You watch the footage, he hits me. And then I fall all the way down and hit my head on the concrete floors and it split my head like a melon and it sounds like I'm sleeping it sounds like I'm snoring but my doctor told me I was trying to swallow my tongue at that point which you know that's never good butter being okay I uh, was a part of Wild Boys, and I would go out and film with them sometimes. When I was filming with the Wild Boys, I think we were in Russia. I was just enjoying getting footage to the point where Jeff pulled me aside and goes, if you're going to go this hard for Wild Boys, why don't we just do another movie? And I was like, oh, that's not such a bad idea. Yeah, Jackass number two, everyone, they were on their worst behavior. This is the butt chug. Oh, yeah! I'm Johnny Knoxville, and I'm going to the moon. Oh, yes, the rocket. Yeah, we hired a part-time rocket scientist and built one of those Acme rockets like you would see in, uh, you know, the Roadrunner cartoons. There was eight to 12 metal, foot-long metal rods, metal rockets. 
encapsulated into the cartoon looking device which we built and upon ignition it exploded and all eight uh, of those foot long metal rods took off in every direction. One blew out a hole in the rocket right next to my ribs about that big. One went 300 yards back and went between Cassock and Scott Manning's ears and it would have decapitated them. That would have been picture wrap. <laughs> Hello, I'm Johnny Knoxville, and I'm about to backflip this bike. We were filming uh, Matt Hoffman's tribute to Evil Knievel. I wasn't meant to do a stunt for that. I got to Oklahoma, and everyone was having so much fun, and I decided, well, I want to have some fun too, and decided to try and backflip a motorcycle, but I can't r ride a motorcycle that well. Sometimes when people are explaining how to do something to me before a stunt, I'm not listening, because I just want to do the stunt. Whatever you do, do not ditch the bike right away. Because if you go like this and ditch the bike, then yeah, yeah, it goes yeah. 40 feet in the air and lands on you. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was right. <laughs> I tried it three or four times. Each time, it seems like I was less committed. And on the fourth time, I come off the end of the ramp, let go of the bike. It launches 20 something feet in the air. And I fall back down on my back, and my knees are behind my ears. Like when I fall, I'm like, ah, oh. and, and right at that time, the motorcycle comes down and breaks its handlebars off of my crotch. Uh, and that was a lot of impact, but I felt like I was, I stood up and I felt like I was peeing myself. But every time my uh, heart would beat, blood would shoot out the end of my penis. And I walked over to the medic on set and I said, is this all right? And he said, son, we have to get you to the hospital right now because, you know, you may be bleeding internally. Why couldn't I got a broken arm or leg or, like, broken cob? Well, no, I got blood shooting out my pee-pee. I injured the only body part that means anything to me. Yeah, that was a, that was a weird injury. Hi, I'm Johnny Knoxville. Welcome to Jackass. Whoa! You always get footage when you film with bulls. People are like, oh, I, you wear the color red around them. And, and the bulls don't give a shit about the color red. They only care about movement. And if something moves, they try to kill it. Thank goodness. Just pure fun. That sounds kind of dangerous. Let's see what this baby can do. Yeah, on action point, I was injured more than any film that I have ever done. Four concussions, broke my hand, busted my meniscus, whiplash, stitches over my right eye, lost a couple of teeth. A third one's maybe coming. Give Daddy a little push. Yeah, the the Alpine slide. We'd been trying to perfect that stunt for a while because I kept wanting to go further and faster. The stunt guy traveled about 20 feet in the air. It was about six feet off the ground. And when he was doing it, it seemed like he was hitting his feet and rolling out of it. So that's something I didn't want to do. I just kind of wanted to let my feet hit and take it in the shoulder. I didn't think about what would be following my shoulder, and that's my face. So feet, shoulder, face, like that. Went to the emergency room, got checked out, got home little blood in my nose, so I blow my nose. And when I blew my nose, my left eye popped out of its socket. And it was, the more I blew, the farther it was coming. And, and so that freaked me out a little. And I popped my eye back in and called the executive producer and said, Mike, look, I, I need to go back to the hospital. My eye just popped out. He's like, ah, <laughs> I'm like, John, my eye just popped out. He goes, I'll be right there. Five days later, I was walking around with Pontius. We were just coming back from a bar, and he said something funny. And at this point, the doctor said, you cannot sneeze or blow your nose for six weeks. But for some reason that night, I'll blame whiskey. When he said something funny, I went <clears throat> and held my nose and blew, and it goes doink again. And at that time, I was wearing a pirate patch. And so I just pushed on the patch to put it back in and double vision. But it wasn't as bad as the first time. Uh, but on the last three days of the film, they could only shoot the right side of my face because the left side looked like... I look like a, a Picasso painting. It's just an injury you're not expecting. It's like when I broke my penis. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, was it all worth it? Yeah.
Yeah, it was. <laughs> was that just a long way to get to me breaking my penis? <laughs>